Hey everyone, Jim Gonzalez, EDI support here. Uh, get asked questions of what is EDI? Um, a lot of the times, a lot of people don't even know what really EDI is. Um, so I figured I'd put a video together and we're going to do this as a series of videos that are going to be here to help you understand um, what is EDI, what are different terminologies in EDI, all those different things. So we're going to start off with what is EDI? Um, if we think about what is it without EDI, let's go back to that point. Um, so if you're looking at, this, at the screen here, you'll see uh, back in the day what people used to do is, and some people still do it, is they would shoot you a, an email or they would send you a fax, a telephone call, post, sometimes we'd send it through the post office by hand. Um, so EDI is essentially, think of it this way. Any type of business document that you can do in an electronic format. So EDI stands for Electronic Data Interchange. So let's think of documents that we normally deal with. We'll use retail industry, purchase orders. So if somebody wanted to order something from you, what would they do without EDI? Somebody would send you that order via email, um, or they go online, which isn't shown on here, but, or we would fax it, if you still have a fax machine. Uh, maybe you'd pick up the phone and call somebody. Maybe nowadays, you'll text somebody. Um, most of the times, you're not gonna text a business if you're looking for an order. You could mail them an order. You could hand deliver an order. So, what would end up happening on the other side is somebody would receive that email, somebody would receive the fax, somebody would get a telephone call, somebody would get go to the post office to get the order, somebody would literally be handed it, and then what they'd have to do is hand key it all back in to their own computer system. So a lot of times this is where you're hand keying into your ERP or enterprise relationship it's your accounting software. Think of it that way. Where are you putting things to account for that sales order that you need to have your warehouse fulfill or maybe you need to have an importer send to you, maybe any of those type of things. Um, so that is coming to you without EDI. What happens when you have EDI? Literally, you can send from your computer, put it into a format, an EDI format and receive it into your computer system. So you're going to need an in between here, you're going to have an EDI solution. You're going to have the sender is going to have their EDI solution. The receiver is going to have their EDI solution. Sometimes it's the same EDI solution, sometimes it's not. But EDI is, as they call it, and you're going to laugh about this as you get further into this they're going to have standardization. So there's standards for how those business documents are formatted. I know anybody that's in EDI um, is going to laugh about it because really there is no standard. Uh, what you're going to find is people, there's rules, but I wouldn't call them standards because people do essentially what companies do what they want. Um, if a company wants to do something that's outside of the standards, you're going to find they're going to do that outside of the standards. But in EDI, when it was brought about in the 70s, they put a group of people together, businesses together, that came up with these standards to be followed. There's going to be terminologies that you're going to hear of throughout the world. There's going to be ANSI X12. There's going to be VIX. There's going to be UCS. There's going to be Tradecoms, Edifax, there's all these different standards. But for you, as somebody that's just learning what EDI is, just know it's business documents being put into a certain form, format, and being handled between two com computer systems. Typically, that's how it's going to work. Sometimes those two computer systems, because remember, a computer can be as small as your phone can be an iPad, can be a full-on desktop, a laptop, can be any of those different things. But it's 
information being processed or sent in between two entities. Typically, a lot of times, you're gonna find it in the retail space where you're gonna have a purchase order. Then you're gonna have a document that's gonna be returned. Those are what's gonna be interacting instead of somebody calling each other or emailing or faxing or doing any of those things. So then when you're looking at EDI documents, um, like I said, there's gonna be standardization depending on which EDI document it is. Um, and typically, EDI documents are not considered an XML format. Um, they're not other file formats. CSV is not typically considered in the EDI realm. Um, everybody puts it in that bucket, and that's okay. Hey, let's think of it that way. But when EDI first came about, it had no inkling or thought pattern as to uh, what an XML was, because XML wasn't even around at that point in the 70s. Um, XML's been, I mean, not XML, EDI has been going away for the last 20, 30 years. Everybody's going to come out and replace it and take care of it, and there's not going to be any problems. So that's, in a nutshell, what EDI is. It's been